Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh This video is for subject ECM 366 Civil Engineering Quantities and Estimation That offered for program EC110 for University Technology Mara This video will cover topic of roadworks Specifically for flexible pavement And in this video we are going to look at measurement of roadwork Covering subgrade, subbase, road base, and surfacing. Cost and program outcomes are displayed in this slide. This topic will cover CO1 and PO2. This slide shows lesson outcomes whereby at the end of the lesson, students should be able to calculate and prepare taking off sheet and BQ for roadworks and evaluate bill of quantities for major elements of civil engineering works in accordance with Malaysian Civil Engineering Standard Methods of Measurement, MyCESMM. This figure shows example of roadworks that still in construction. Basically, for a roadworks, it will have several layers. For example, here the road will have surface cost, base cost, and sub-base cost. These are the common machineries that is going to be used in road construction whereby we are going to have the compactor and also the road paver. Next, this figure shows construction of embankment for exit from highway among the forest. And then, this figure shows the cross-section of road. As you can see in the figure, these are the typical cross-section for a road. And as we can see here, the shape of the cross-section of a road is a trapezium. For example here, if you cut any section of the road, you can see that the cross-section will be in the shape of trapezium. You can cut at any point along the road and it basically will have the same shape of cross-section area. Next, this slide shows example of road layers. On the top, it has surface. After that, it has the base, sub-base, and sub-grade. The characteristic of the material for each layer is explained in this description. And this slide shows another example of the root layers. And then, this slide shows typical layers of flexible pavement together with the normally practice of thickness of each layer of the root. Basically, all of the layers of the road have its own function and it is explained in this slide. In this topic, we are focusing on how to measure the quantities of materials for the road construction. We look at example. Prepare an estimation cost for preparing embankment for a road if the height of the road embankment is 1.35 meter at change 00 and 2.4 meter at change 216 based on price provided, allow 5% for contingency sum. And the question provided with the drawing for the road is stated here the width of the road is 12 meter, the most top layer is surfacing material. Under the surface material, it has the crusher run, the thickness is 0.5 meter, and then it will have 0.2 meter thickness of sand. The most bottom layer is the embankment. Normally, it is made from soil. The depth of the embankment is provided in the question, whereby it is 1.35 meter at change 00, and at the back there at change 216. The depth of the embankment is 2.4 meter. Material price preliminaries is 5,000 lump sum. Normally for preliminaries, it will cover the job for survey, soil testing, traffic impact assessment, TIA, and also environmental impact assessment, EIA. The price of sand, 10 ringgit per meter cube. Crusher run 40 ringgit per meter cube, in surface material 20 ringgit per meter squared, imported soil 12 ringgit per meter cube, and the thing 6 ringgit per meter squared. Basically, the rate will provide the hint for us to determine the quantity to be calculated. For example, for the sand, we are going to calculate the volume because the rate is per meter cube. And then for another example, for surfacing material, we are going to calculate the area 
based on the rate provided per meter squared. Basically, this figure shows the cross section of the road at Chenech 00. And if you want to convert this diagram into a 3D, it will become like this. The depth of the embankment at Chenech 00 is 1.35. And at Chenech 2016, the depth of the embankment will be 2.4 meter. As provided in the question, the slope will be 2.5 ratio 1. The length of the road will be 260 meter based on the change information provided. And then the road width is 12 meter. The layers of the road will be the surfacing material on the top and that it will have the crusher run. After that, it will have the sand and lastly the soil as the embankment. First, we are going to determine the quantity of the sand based on the rate provided. We need to determine the volume of the sand. In order to calculate the volume, we can use the formula volume for sand equal to B multiplied with D multiplied with L. Value of B is 12 meter. The depth will be 0 0.2 meter. After we multiply breadth and depth, you are going to get the area of this cross section of the sand. And to get the volume, we need to multiply with the length of the road, which is 216 meter. So after you multiply, you will get the volume equal to 518.4 meter cube of sand. Next, we calculate for the crusher run. And the quantities that need to be determined is the volume. We are going to apply the same formula. Provided B is 12 meter. Depth of crusher run is 0 0.5 meter. And the length of the road is 216. After you calculate, you will get the answer for volume of crusher run. It will be... 1,296 meter cube. Next, for surfacing material, the quantity that need to be determined is the area. Surfacing material is the most top layer. And then the area that need to be determined is the top surface area. Area for surfacing material equal to B multiplied with L provided the breadth or width of the road is 12 meter and the length of the road is 216 meter thus the area for surfacing material equal to 2592 meter squared after that we are going to determine quantity of imported soil for the embankment of the road and the quantity that need to be determined is the volume if we look carefully the surface area for the embankment is in the shape of trapezium. Therefore, the formula to determine volume of the soil is average surface area multiplied with the length of the road. In order to get average surface area, first we need to calculate surface area at Chenech 0, 0. The equation is BD plus as d squared bear in mind we need to take the value of depth of the embankment at change 0, 0 provided the breadth or width of the road is 12 meter value of d at change 0, 0 is 1.35 meter the value of slope is 2.5 and the answer will be 20.756 meter squared after that we need to determine Value of surface area at change 216. We are going to apply the same formula. BD plus SD squared. B is 12 meter. Value of depth at change 216 is 2.4 meter. S is 2.5. And the answer is 43.2 meter squared. After that, we can proceed with the volume of imported soil for the embankment. Average surface area will be surface area at change 0, 0 plus surface area at change 216 divided by 2 multiply with L. It will be 20.756 plus 43.2 divided by 2 to get the average and then multiply with the root length which is 216. Thus, the amount of imported soil is 6,907.248 meter cube. And lastly, we are going to solve for the turfing based on the price rate. 
the quantity that need to be determined is the area of the turfing. These are area to be turf. The function of turfing is to protect the slope from landslide. And to determine area to be turf, the equation is the average multiply with square root of s squared plus 1 and multiply with length. After we solve the equation, basically we are going to get this area to be turf. However, at another side, there will be another slope that need to be protected and because both of these sides have the same area to be turf, we just multiply with 2. And by using this formula, basically we solve area to be turf for the both sides simultaneously. The average equal to depth at change 0, 0, which is 1.35 plus with depth at change 216, which is 2.4, divide by 2 to get the average. The value of slope is 2.5 plus 1 and multiply with 2L. The value of L will be 216. And after we solve this formula, the answer is 2181 meters squared. And this is the area to be turf for the both sides of the slope. After we complete, in determining the amount of quantity for each materials used for this root construction, the next step is for us to prepare bill of quantities in order for us to get the total cost for this root construction. In this bill of quantities, we just put back all of the materials that is used in this root construction and the quantity that we calculated previously we put inside this bill of quantities by multiplying the quantity with the rate we are going to get the amount of each materials and then we sum up the amount of materials we are going to get the subtotal of 209,000 837 and 60 cent for the subtotal based on the question we need to allow 5% for the contingency therefore 5% from the subtotal amount it will be 10,491.88 cents and we sum up to get the grand total of 220,329 and 48 cents for this road construction and that is how measurement of road work for flexible pavement is done first we need to calculate quantities of all materials in road construction and then we prepare bill of quantities to come out with the price of total estimation cost for the road construction i hope all students will get benefits and knowledge from this video till we meet again in the next video thank you very much and have a nice day